Welcome to RPA. In this video, we'll discuss about what is orchestrated jobs in UI path. So, if you don't know about orchestrator in UI path, then please watch my complete playlist about UI path orchestrator. Here, we'll discuss what is jobs how to create and start jobs and do several configuration in your path orchestrator so a job is nothing but execution of a process on your path robot we can launch this execution of a job in either attended or unattended mode we cannot launch a job from orchestrator on attended robots unless the debugging process and they cannot run under lock screen <laughs> There are three locations in an orchestrator enable us to configure and start a job that is jobs, triggers and process pages. The jobs page represents the jobs control center where you can monitor already launched jobs, view their details and logs and stop, kill, resume, restart jobs. So let's say if uh, we want to start it from the jobs select from here and start the jobs here you we will get the different options like process name the process name uh, you can select any of the process which you have created then job priority and the process name once it will provide the uh, process name you have to select the job priority where you have to define the priority level of your execution so let's say if you are executing for the high or dynamic based uh executions then you have to set high normal and low so you can see here that three options are available based on your selections the priority is inherited from where it was initially configured we can either leave it as it is or change it we can control each job which is precedence over other competing jobs through the job priority fields either when deploying the process or when configuring a job a trigger for that process a job can have one of the following priorities automation pages like jobs automation page triggers then automation page process so these are the three steps where we can trigger it if we configure a job to execute the same process multiple times a job entry is created for each execution job has ordered bees so let's say if we are creating any process and once our process creation is done we can trigger that job to be restarted from here you have to define the machine name deployment on non-productions testing or unattended so these all are options are available when we are starting runtime license machine name is mandatory pose that you have to click on the start and that job will be triggered or restart it so this is how we can do it when we talk about the process in the process sections as well you can restart the job and when we will talk about the triggers from here also once your trigger trigger will be available you can restart your jobs so this is how we can do the processing types so when we process by default any process can be edited while having associated running or pending jobs running job associated with the modified process use the initial version of the process updated version is used for newly created jobs or at the next level of the same job pending job associated with the modified process use the updated version in the background process we can have different types of process according to user interface requirement like background process requires user interface so this is all about how to restart your jobs and processes and do the multiple configurations according to our requirement that's all about your path orchestrator jobs hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this session don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching